gets worse. Because even though it was low res, I knew that dick, that dick belonged to my best mate, Eric. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can't it's see so your uniform. Weird. Welcome back to Life Lessons in Film. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Life Lessons in Film. Hello. Today we're gonna be making sense of life through Rye Lane. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Starring? Starring? We have no clue. No clue, which is great. I just realized. Dom played by David Johnson. Yas played by Vivian Opara. And it follows Yas and Dom. Dom just got dumped. By his ex. Yas is also in the bathroom. They start chatting. The movie follows them too as they go through their day and start to learn about each other and go on adventures. And, yeah, uh, they both had yeah, their relationships they, end recently. Yeah, so they talk about the breakups and how they're getting over it and, yeah. uh, and, and they how get, the breakups happen. How the breakups happen, they get to know each other and then they fall in love. And it's sweet. Yeah, why we why liked like it. it. What a gem. You can, you can tell from very early on that it's, this one's gonna be fresh. Flashing the different colors and everything. Mm -hmm. Riley, and you're like, yeah, this, is, this ain't just like your throwaway kind of lazy rom-com. Yeah. It's something special. It something so a lot special. more creative and fun. One of those really unique stories that kind of capture a day in the life. The whole movie predominantly covers just like that one day when they're yeah. getting to know each other. Because it's all tied into one day, you do feel like you get to know them more which is kind of required to actually feel for the characters when they finally get together at the end, I find. Yeah. They're on those teeter-totters and they're chatting and getting to know each other and teasing, but also learning about each other's passions and their goals and their dreams for the future. And, and their it's fears, stuff that, their failures. Their fears. Yeah, you, yeah, you get to just know them in the condensed time that a movie allows, but I find I got to feel for and know these characters more because it's like, Next conversation, next conversation, next conversation. Instead yeah. of like it breaks and then they talk to other people and other friends and then you only get a couple scenes with the main characters and then you kind of like at the end you're like, I don't really feel because I don't really know them. Exactly. I don't know these two characters. Yeah. Whereas with this movie, there I, isn't that give you that time. Closeness. Yeah, there's yeah. no forced closeness. You, you get to feel them getting to know each other and you get to know those characters as well. When they do end up together, you actually feel like, oh man, yeah. they deserve to find this love. Mm -hmm. I like their use of the, the fisheye lens because it just adds like, and then with the groovy, beautiful music that they have over top of it, it creates a very yeah. like, it's just very... Uh, heartwarming. Like heartwarming the whole time. and just easy to watch and it yeah. makes you feel good. It's anyway. it's quick, it's witty, it's fun. The characters. Let's start with Yes? Let's I start with Yes. You like Yes. I love Yes. Yeah. She's so cute. What's her name again? Opera. Vivian Opara. Yeah. She is so cute. My gosh. Whenever she smiles, she has a very infectious kind of smile. Yeah. She's the kind of friend that I would like to have, yeah. you know? She's very playful. Mm -hmm. You know, little things that she does, like when she's walking yeah. back. Okay, but you just don't touch anything, yeah? Fingerprints. Okay. <laughs> And she's just very quick-witted. I love that. But at the same time, she's very sensitive. I sat around in the same pair of joggers for weeks, crying into Greg sausage rolls, leaving cringy, begging voicemails. And as if that wasn't enough, I accidentally liked a photo of Tabby from five years ago on her mum's Facebook. That's also why I find Yaz yeah, relatable, is because basically all the feelings that the main characters have, I'm like, yeah, that seems like reasonable thinking to me. Like, I get what they did was peak, but I take some responsibility, you know? Like, not at all. You're gonna let them off the hook after how they treated you. So I don't think you're getting it. This is part of the process. The process of you rolling over like a bitch? Sorry, too far. It's fun. Where Yaz is like, what? That's insane. Why would you go about that? That's such a crazy thing to request. Yeah. You know, instead of being okay with that. And then I'd feel like, what? This feels contrived or forced, but it's like, no, I completely agree. That would yeah. be a weird thing to do. I'm gonna count some. Boring. Okay. No free popcorn chicken, but still, that's like a proper job. <laughs> yeah, it's not particularly glamorous. No. I actually kind of love it. I, I like Dom, you know, he's a very simple guy and he's okay in that simplicity. For example, the accounting, right? Yeah, I know that's not for everybody, but that's just something that I like. And he's not like, oh, he's not taking shots at himself. He's just like, this is where I am. It's a lot of very specific details that they give in that movie that paint a very clear picture of the characters, make them feel very real and relatable. Where mm -hmm. he's moved back home, living with his parents, and he's like, I think I'm regressing. Honestly, it's like they never want me to leave. They bought me a PlayStation. My dad forces me on bike rides all the time. My mum literally won't stop making me board eggs and soldiers. Oh, you poor thing. I swear I'm devoting. 
I could see if you're devolving back to like a kid state and then you get broken up with, you kind of put up with more stuff than you should. You're not as confident in your ability to be like, how do I stand up for myself? So maybe he's going along with this reconcile meeting with his ex because he's still with he's his parents. Now, and so yeah. he kind of doesn't have that level of independence and confidence that you get it when you're living on yeah. your own. So maybe that's what's going on. It feels believable to me. See that post next to you? Keep it on green. And to keep bringing food over it. It's kind of mad. I've been there before. Yeah, man, I'm never turning mine red. You have to carry me out of this place. <laughs> Oh, I tried croquetting my knees. Make you cream. I'm good. Gia and Eric. I think where it's just they went for like a very light tone so it stays a fun movie mm -hmm. is they just make Eric so goofy and oblivious yeah. that you can't really not like him. Yeah. Even though he did a super like did Douchey did dumb thing. dirty. Yeah, like yeah. really bad thing. His best friend forever. He knows he's who he's dating. So the fact that he was okay with sleeping, with, sleeping her. with his best friend's girlfriend, super sleazy. But it's so fun how he's like just, you know, that you're just like, okay, well he's not present. He's not present and <laughs> He's not deserving of dumb, but, yeah. you know, whatever. That's the, kind of just, like, the fun, unrealistic part, which I'm fine with. Yeah. But, you know, at the same time, like, he's a better fit for Gia. Yaz even kind of calls Gia out, basically, to describe her whole character, where it's like... Sorry, sorry, I'm struggling with something here. You cheated on Tom with him. Excuse you? Yes. No, no, I need to figure this out because it's baffling. You dumped this funny, clever, successful accountant for this jobless human bin fire. Oh, that hurts a little bit. I mean, I get it. The arms are nice, but why does she even talk about it? Are you just going to sit there and say that shit to me? Well, she said my arms are nice. And at the end, like, you kind of find out, yeah, they are just better for each other. They're people mm -hmm. that maybe don't think so deeply, but that's that's fine. Because then yeah. they wear each other, or one of them, if they, one of them was and one wasn't, they'd get tired. What happened? You and Yaz were annoyingly perfect for one another. Mm -hmm. What, you were too perfect for each other? So... She also kind of recognizes yeah. that that girl was the right fit for you, yeah. not me. Yeah. There's value that Dom has that Yaz recognizes and loves and appreciates that Gia cannot appreciate. Yeah. Your idea of what is inspiring is different or what is fulfilling to you. Babes, they're bringing out the new canaps. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Eric and Gia are just people that don't think too hard on things and they like to have a good time and go to art galleries and have snacks and just Spain chill and, just and probably just relax, relax and there. yeah, that's yeah. fine. And that's as long fine. As they're good to themselves and others. Exactly. Whereas Dom and Yaz think a lot on mm -hmm. stuff. Like they're yeah. sitting there analyzing people in in the park. That'll be me one day, man. Bye. Couple rich ex-husbands, menstruation of distant memory, sat out in the park with both my legs behind my head. It's just beautiful. I'll be me. Five. Old, but still thirsty. The story is basically Dom and Gaz, who are introspective, reflective, deep feeling people that were with people that were more shallow or surface level, and then they get broken up with, and then the breaker uppers find other people that are kind of more on their wavelength. So it actually is pretty realistic, too. Yeah. And then Yaz and Dom find each other, and it's like, oh, yeah, you know, it's nice to be with people that are on the same wavelength with what music is worth appreciating, and their references and their way of interacting. They make each other laugh, and they stimulate each other. So I think with Eric um, and Gia, it was really messed up what they did. I yeah. don't ever condone you getting with your friend's girlfriend. Probably at, in, at, at in, least in. wait for them to break up and then yeah. have a conversation and say, look, you guys broke up. I don't think you were ever compatible. I think we're compatible. Would you yeah. be okay with me yeah. pursuing your girlfriend? Yeah. And then same thing with Jules and Tabby. It's the same kind of situation. Jules and Tabby are better suited for each other. They're yeah. both kind of more about outward appearances and giving off a certain kind of air. Whereas Yaz, she even says at one point, she's like, And that's when it hit me. I had come basic. I kind of was just living a phony persona, trying to fit into what Jules's life was like. Even though Jules broke up, it was a gift for, for Yaz to find someone who's also her level of authentic. Tabby herself is not really a bad person. She's just, she you doesn't know. seem like a bad person. I think she's just the next victim. If you were basing a toxicity off of something, Jules would be that guy. Mm -hmm. He's a blueprint. Yeah, he's the guy that like in public will denounce all these problematic things and claim self-righteousness, but then privately is very selfish, is very insulting and rude. Yeah. yeah. Virtue signaling. Yeah. He's those people. It's such a destructive way to interact with people and also a destructive way to have relationships with people, people that you actually love. I'm going to forge an article about how hip-hop's promotion of violence continues to perpetuate problematic black stereotypes. 
like Jules himself is it's like kind of a stereotype. It's like a stereotype, right. like an entire stereotype. Yeah, yeah, stereotypical yeah. struggling artist. Yeah, pretentious struggling artist that yeah. looks down on anyone who is doing exactly what they're doing. You know, she thought she was going to be a big time costume designer. Used to stay up all night, doodling away, and her little pads. How's that going, by the way? He's such a disgusting, venomous person, mm -hmm. honestly. And if I were the girlfriend witnessing that, I would never want to be with someone yeah. like that. And that's actually where I was thinking. I was like, Tabby's not really a bad person. Although I was like, again, she's actually a good fit for Jules because they have this kind of warped way of interacting where she's like, Babe, are you going to call the police? Because I'm done with all this toxic energy. No, 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 listen. But it's like you're in a relationship with a super toxic person, but then accusing them of being toxic. That's yeah. a whole other kind of issue. So I think they're also good for each other. There's a lot of uh, them not seeing their own shortcomings. I like the friends though, like the the art show guy. It's good to see you out and about again, Don. It's good to be out and about. Everything's uh, everything's wicked. Yeah, I started Pilates. Is it? Yeah, uh, working on my core, working on me. You know, getting positive. All right, I'll do you in it? <laughs> Cheers, man. The fact that they maintain friendships with these people, I think it was just a friend group. So I think probably Eric was friends with everyone yeah, that Dom was friends with. So they're all showing other. up and yeah. it's just all weird. Mm -hmm. And it happens, it's just those yeah. dynamics sometimes when your friends are dating and then yeah. they break up and it's just like, oh, what yeah. do we do? Eric and, and Gia throw a party. Yeah. Right, look, don't prung out. They had this paint party brunch team. <laughs> but I only say for 45 minutes, paint a tiny bit of a door, ate half at him across and bam. <laughs> you went to brunch at our flat. Seriously, there's nothing sacred anymore. Yeah, I went, but it was only for just a second. Yeah, just a yeah. second. So he's recognizing yeah. that, look, I know that it would hurt for you yeah. if I went to this party after they screwed yeah. you over this way, but, like, but they're also my friends. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm between a rock and a hard place, yeah. but that's just the reality. I think, yeah. I think that that was, you know, honestly portrayed. That's you do fair. find yourself that's in that fair. situation when your friends break up, what do you do? Yeah. I don't think it's fair to ask for the people to take sides because yeah. they are both your friends. That's true. And maybe you guys, all of them maybe grew up with each other. That's true, that's um, true. Well, themes? That's... I guess the theme could be that, like what happens when your friends break up with each other. I didn't want to be sad anymore. And so I lied. And then you called me iconic. And I lied that you saw me that way. So I kept on lying. Come on, it wouldn't have mattered. I think you were cool either way. Yeah, <laughs> I know that now. And like, uh, you know, where he's like, you know, you didn't have to lie about how you broke up. I would have thought you were cool anyway. She's like, yeah, but you called me iconic. And you can feel like, oh, will the person not respect me as much or think I'm as cool if I actually tell them who I really am and what I actually have gone through. And the right people will be like, it doesn't matter. I like you anyway. In fact, I like you more now that like, I know more truth about you. Yeah. More of the truth about you, you know? Jules is someone that like, you need to keep, stay cool all the time yeah. for him to want to still spend time with you. Whereas no, Dom right. is not like that. And those are the people you keep in your life yeah. because Jules knocks you down. The kind of person who's like, oh, you got broken up with? Oof. Yeah. What kind of person are you? You're the kind of person who gets broken up with. You're not cool. Yeah. I don't think I want to hang out with you. That's the person you know. That's not your friend. Mm -hmm. But someone who's like, you got broken up with? Oh, man. What do you need? Are you okay? Yeah. How are you feeling? You know? Yeah. Unlike Jules, again, who was like, oh, yeah, you wanted to be a costume designer, but you're not. Like, those people who knock you down all the time. What is this? Is this your hair? God, it's your hair. Hair, baby. It's yes. everywhere. Put it back where it belongs. It's always on me. Don't be around people like that that'll knock you down and expect you to be on all the time. Yeah. It's exhausting. You exactly. can't ever be yourself. You don't know who you are then. Yeah. yeah that's anyway, funny. that's that's some stuff that we had to say about Riley. What did you guys think? Let us know. You seen it? Down in the comments below. Share your thoughts on our thoughts. Burning okay. questions. Burning questions. What happens yeah. when your friends break What's, up in this exact way? Yeah, how do you navigate that? How would you navigate you know each other? Yeah, like how would you navigate yeah. a situation like this? Yeah. You know, would you take sides or you, know, you just leave the friend group altogether? Yeah. yeah. You guys are all a mess. Someone doesn't respect a tribe called Quest. Is that the final? Is that a deal breaker? Is that a deal breaker? What's your deal breaker? What's the thing that finally wakes you up and is like, okay, I need to leave this yeah. relationship. Maybe it's not a deal breaker. Maybe it's because they don't like donuts. Maybe it's yeah. because they don't wave they walk at too people fast. on boats. Yeah, they don't maybe... wave to people on boats. Yeah. yeah, or maybe they walk too fast. What is your deal breaker yeah. when you're like, okay, this isn't gonna work? Yeah, I like the waving at boats thing. I think it's kind of a better idea of like a sense of someone than just like taking a personality test. Yeah. It's like, yeah, if you wave at boats, yeah, you know, it. or like, like nodding yeah. at other people in a canoe, if you're in a canoe or, yeah. you know, that kind of thing. And that shows that you also recognize other people around you. So yeah. it's good. Yeah. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. Until next time. That's it. Peace.
How spicy is the spicy pork? Like, out of ten. Do you like spicy food? Strong no. Then an eight. In that case, I'll change mine to the chicken, please. Although it says mild. Is that mild, mild? Oh, 